NCP State President and Gambegre MLA Saleng Sangma has hailed the decision of the MDA government for taking the initiative to address the border issue with Assam, adding that the coalition partners of the government stand united on the matter. He lamented the fact that the border issue has been slogging on for the past five decades and questioned the erstwhile governments who never took up the issue and said that this government was committed to resolving the pending demand of the people and the state. However, he added that he couldn't say much about the problems on the ground. On allegations of the opposition that the government was trying to resolve the border issue in a piecemeal manner, Sangma said that he did not agree with the statement. This government has at least taken the initiations. They have uh, taken the step. Whether good, bad, ugly, because these issues has been one of the longest pending issue since the time of independence, since the time from you know uh, from uh, Assam when we were separated. It was one of the longest issue. Nobody has taken the step, at least even to you know. Uh, address the situation also. So are you satisfied with the government deciding to uh, sign the pact uh, on the six areas of difference instead of 12 as of now? Six areas of different 12. I think there might be uh, more than 12 also. If you go to the ground, you never know. Uh, right now, I, what I feel good is that at least they have taken their step actually. Because once you take any kind of a step, definitely there will be a lots of, you know, uh, hue and cry from all the angle, not only from the Meghalaya, even from the Assam there might be. So, uh, at least this government has taken a chance, you know, the chance of facing the consequences. Definitely there will be lots of litigation, there will be lots of consequences, there's a lots of, you know, uh, allegations regarding the uh, issue taken up, because it's the conflict zone area itself. It's a conflict. You see, it's a problem area only. You all know that. I know that. You see, this is the problem area. The area itself is a problem area. Not the, you know, uh, you know, non-problem area. So since the problem area has been existing, so even if you take also the opinion, there will be a problem. 50 years long. I don't know how long people live. I'm still 43, okay? So I don't think it will be hasty on the part of anybody to say that one. Right now, I don't want to comment on the issues, especially the problems that is there on the ground. <laughs> because if I am on their part, what will be my concerns, what will be my reactions, uh, you know, it will be definitely a different uh, story. So I don't want to comment on much of those areas where the people are facing the problem right now. Definitely, we have to take a, you know, considerations uh, and the, you know, the views of people from the ground also. Uh, that's very true. But uh, yesterday, I have seen in one of the news that uh, Chief Minister of Hassan is saying it's not the, uh, you know, the final decision because it's the Parliament which has to take the final step. And I am confident on the government of India also that uh, in even the government of Meghalaya and then the government of Assam also, whatever step they will take, definitely they will take cautiously because uh, though, because the final call will be the parliament. So I think uh, if there is any issues, problems arises, I think our chief minister will definitely address to the parliament, I believe. So do you think, do you agree with the opposition? I never agree with anybody actually. <laughs> I don't agree with anybody. I agree with the truth. Now, when you're talking about the piecemeal, now we've got uh, thousands of areas and acres covering the whole Meghalaya. Uh, when you look at that angle, actually, definitely it's a small area, small area where the conflict is happening. Not all over the Meghalaya. For example, Garo Hills, we don't have. Giant Hills in few areas, I think so in castles in few areas, which was not so from a uh, long pending, uh, you know, year. So whatever step, whether it's a piecemeal, whether it's a small step, whether it's a big step, but at least the initiation has been bought. Why didn't do it? Why they didn't do it when Mukul was himself was a chief minister? Why he didn't initiate it? Huh? Where was he? Was he on the dark? What about the Didi Lapang? 
Why the hell didn't they do it? What about the Captain William Sun Sangma? What about the BB Ling Do? Huh? Why did they didn't take it actually? They should have initiated at least. This government has taken the initiations, which I appreciate for that. But uh, uh, whether they have correct, uh, taken the correct step or not, I can't say on that part. But at least they have taken the initiation. This is what I can, you know, at least during the time of Muko Sangma, he should have, because he was proudly saying that, you see, I will, uh, you know, uh, solve the uh, border issue within no time. Just after he taking, uh, after, you know, uh, you know, like taking over as a chief minister.